Hello Guitar People. And uh, by Hello Guitar People, I mean everyone there who's at home uh, possibly being bored. Me? I'm not bored. I do what I always do. Um, I work at home. I sit right here and make guitar videos. And since this whole Corona thing started, um, I've been sitting here doing what I do. I haven't even had time to do live streams, even though I'm literally in a TV studio. Uh, so everyone's fighting with live streaming. I could do it, but I'm just too busy actually creating content. I just filmed a couple of Marsh Lamps today and uh, loads of stuff that's in the pipes trying to get the content out there for you. But I thought let's break it up a bit. You're at home, you might be bored and you might be looking for something to do and something to work on. And why not do that together and make it into a fun thing? Um, so there's a track that uh, I wrote quite a while ago for demos that you might have heard a couple times that my good friend Adrian O'Shaughnessy from Ireland put vocals on recently. And now it is called Scar Me Up. It's kind of about me and Sebastian Bach and Sebastian Bach being a douche nozzle. Um, so why not go ahead and I explain the song and the guitar part to you. I teach you the whole part and then you can go ahead and record it. You can play with your rhythm sound, which a lot of people don't do. A lot of these things that people do are about, you know, solo over something. But I want you to go ahead and recreate the rhythm part or all the guitar parts of this song, which means you can play around with uh, double tracking or maybe using a double tracking pedal, uh, like the Mimic doubler or maybe like the double tracking function that the new Captor X has, which uh, you probably don't have because it's supposed to come from China and no one can actually get their hands on them. Even mine went back to France. Um, so play around with it, record it, and then uh, make a video of it. I would like a video, if possible. can be with your phone, whatever. And then send that to scarmeup at henningpauli.com. Scarmeup at henningpauli.com. Uh, but before we start, here's the full song recorded with this guitar and the Angle Savage 120.
wasn't that fun. It's actually a pretty simple tune. I always kind of forget the end of the riffs when, when it changes, and I'm probably going to mess that up. But um, now, with the help of my lovely assistant, Leslie, up there in the switching room, we'll be uh, teaching this song to you. Um, it pretty much has three main riffs, which is the main riff riff, then the verse riff, and then the chorus riff, which is fairly simple, uh, and then a couple of little uh, connectors. So if Leslie puts on the super source, I can actually guide you through the song. And my, my uh, songs always are very colorful. So we're going to turn this on here. Uh, you're going to get this as well, which is the count in. And there's the main riff, which comes twice. So that's where right here you see the green block twice. Uh, neon green is kind of my intro color. I always have some kind of brown for the verse, and you can see the verse comes twice, even though the ending is different. Here, the ending is... And here it is... It's like a uh, secondary dominant happening there. I'm going to turn the vocals off. And what you get from me in the... Uh, Links below the video is, uh, well, actually, I'm going to give you bass, mono. I'm going to give you the drums and the vocals. So you can put all those three elements together yourself. Um, so there's the chorus. Then we get back to the main riff. Then the verse, just the way it is. And then there's a little bit of a different thing which comes twice here and there. You can see on the red. And you can sprinkle leads, you know, under the verse. You can sprinkle leads, of course, in the solo. So you have the riff, uh, chorus, riff again, and then a um, solo section, which is very simple. Wait, where's the solo? Turn that off. So, relatively simple, then uh, that do 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 run again, longer chorus, riff, 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 and you're done. It's a pretty simple song, actually. Um, so, let me teach you the main riff. Um, your guitar is in drop D. You can literally do this with anything. This is kind of a metal, bare knuckle equipped. Beast, as you can clearly tell on the Black Ibanez logo, on black with the black and then black, and then there's black and black and more black, and everything is very black, except my sweater, which is just delightful. Um, so, Leslie, I'm going to leave it to you to pick between guitar one and two, whatever, and uh, I'll bet you about it if I don't like it. How about that? So, we're in drop D. <laughs> And the great thing about the Savage 120 channel 3 right now, uh, but the whole ambassade has, uh, there's a noise gate, which is very cool because right now we're not dealing with <laughs> all that. So tuning is a good idea. Good, good enough. So uh, riff is fairly simple. I'm going to play it one time through and then explain it in detail. That's the whole thing. It does take a while to get it flowing, but once you do, it's fun. So, we're doing drop D two times. That's easy. It's literally just, even Leslie can do it. Um, and then we're doing very simple. So it's on the D, three, and then A, five, three, and then the D string in this case, five, three, and then zero. Three, five, three, five, three, zero. I, it, it couldn't be easier. 
and then we're doing B flat C with the slide. And that's pretty much the beginning of the riff all the time. And slow again. First time around, we're doing, in this case, that's an uh, E flat to F. That dugugung is very important. At that speed, it's a little bit tricky. Then we're doing the same beginning again. And now a major power chord, uh, which is index, fourth fret, A string, pinky, uh, seventh fret, D string. And you're doing again that ding ding again. And then up to the D. And then the first part again, just repeats. Okay, and now a tricky one. Which uh, starts on the A string, fifth fret, always preceded by the double drop D. With the slide. Five, three, five, slide to seven, five. And now we slide back. So we go, we just, you know, walk it back. And then chromatically down, five, four, three, zero. Don't forget the zero. And then G, F. Again. So the whole thing, slow and then fast. Now that angle sound is very, very scratchy and very bitey, but that gives you that attack. There isn't a lot of super mega low end. It's just right there, which is great for this picky kind of... Okay, and that comes twice. And then we get into the verse, which is kind of tricky. So I'm going to turn on just the drums because I'm doing kind of a three thing. It has kind of a swing feel, even though it's not. Um, so. One, two, three. I don't, I don't even know. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. So, first time is uh, we're hammering in D minor, okay? We're doing the D string and then an octave of the F, which hammers in D minor. It's the one and the minor third. And we're going down one step to the nine or the two. And then seven to one. All in octaves. Make sure that's clean so that your D doesn't doesn't ring. It's like D down 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 high high down 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 high 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 down 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 high high down 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 high 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 high. Get it? Down 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 high high down 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 high 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 high. Get it? So. So 
So that is uh, eight, seven, three, five. So we're doing the same rhythm now with a big F, which is pretty much an F power chord right here. But you're stretching to the low D string. It's actually an F major sound. We're going from the F to the E. And that's the same rhythm. Again. Or, doesn't matter how you do that. Um, and then we're doing this big C, uh, no, it's a B flat right here. So pretty much you're doing a, a, a bar, and then you're going one, two, three, four frets up into the 12th fret, which is a major third in this case. So, on the D string. And then we're pulling that over here, but we're doing a minor, so it's five and eight, and then seven, eight. So. so that's the melody we want to hear. So the whole thing. Okay, then the whole thing repeats. So we're doing B flat to A. So B flat major. And that's it, I play the whole thing for you. Okay, uh, not ready. One, two, three, four, uh, wait, uh, no repeat. Two, three, four. Okay, do I have to tune in? Looks good. Um, that's the verse. And then we go into the chorus. I will also put a version underneath, which is uh, the whole thing without vocals, so you can focus on the guitars. That's fairly simple, which is, uh, interestingly, a big-ass D, and then D major. Oh. We all know this big D power chord, you know, instead of... You just leave out that major third. So out of that D in the third fret, you make a C sharp in the second fret. I almost lost my pick. And then you do D, E, F. The big F again. Seven, five, three. So, zero, two, three. Do the big one again. Play the lower one again. G, A, G, F. And then it starts over. I think that comes twice 
And then the third time is. <laughs> Ah, instead of going to the F, it's that walk up again, but then we're doing C. C, B flat, A, which is 10, 8, 7. So. So I play the whole thing. It's really fairly simple and so much fun. Don't know how to count in. That's the little red part, which is literally just... Just to, to kind of build... To kind of build some momentum, so... Do I really have to say that? Five, five, uh, seven, five, three, 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 two. And then we do the chorus again. Go ahead and do that. Okay, okay, I can't do it. Thank you, Leslie. Show that. So we're almost through. That's how easy that song is. Um, uh, uh, solo, where nothing is ever written. I'll just noodle shit over that if I use that track. So you're doing D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D E F F F F F F F F G G G G A A G F back to D. Did you get that? Get this D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D E F F F F F F F F G G G G A A G F D D D D D D D D D D D D D F F F F F F F F B flat B flat A A A A D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D E D F F F F F F F F G G G G A A G F D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D E F F F F F F F B flat B flat A A A A A A G F A G F A G F A G F Okay? And the same, same thing twice, and then that thing again, and then the chorus a uh, couple times. Uh, one, two, three, four times, and then the ending of the chorus, which is the, uh, you know?
don't play shitty like me, that's the note you're looking for. You could play it there if you wanted to. But it's so much fun to slide up there. So, um, we're doing the riff two times and at the very end, a little variation. we've had before, but we're doing the last part again, and then, and then open D. So it technically comes three times in the end, one time the normal time, and then two times added. Go back to the guitar, let's see. Uh, Get that? Now oh, that's that's really technically it. That's all there is. It's a fairly simple song, and um, it's one of those songs that actually works with not a lot of overdubs. If you can see, I got the bass because uh, I'm all about the bass. Uh, then there's two tracks. Uh, there were clean guitars here, which nobody actually needs, so I've never ever ever used those. And um, then there are some leads, you can do some fills, you can do a background line, really necessary, it is not, uh, but you can definitely do the solo. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's about it. So I will do mix downs of these, drums, bass and vocals separately, and you get an instrumental version, um, so that you can hear it in context without the vocals. I'll uh, put this all in a zip file below, you can download that, and when you're done with your hopefully little video that you've done, uh, send that to scarmiap at henningpauli.com. I'll love to see what, you, uh, what you've come up with. Um, this is not a giveaway, this is not a contest. I've, you know, if I, if I feel someone's done exemplary and really, really cool, you know, I've got shit lying around, I can send you something. But this is for fun, this is to get us all thinking about non-virus related things, which I know right now is difficult. I've never watched the news ever, and right now my iPad's playing, you know, C-SPAN and different countries. Uh, news all all day long and I'm thinking about numbers and it's it's a little bit crazy it's a scary time but music's the thing we all got in common so let's focus on that and there'll also be uh, another thing coming tomorrow where I'm asking you to actually be super creative I'm just giving you drums and vocals and you create a completely new structure of the song around it uh, that's coming tomorrow but for now scar me up we're going to put animals at the end, and the link is below. Thanks, Leslie. Stay safe, guys. Time flying by Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying Till the sun goes up My body's tired But my mind won't stop 